What I love most about free diving and spearfishing is that when I am in the ocean doing that, I am just 100% present in the moment. The minute I'm underwater, I am not thinking about a single thing except for what's right in front of me. It was about eight years ago when I decided to stop competing in free diving, spear fishing. I had to walk away because I was losing my actual connection to the ocean. It connected me to where my food comes from, to my family and my roots and my upbringing, and just to the beautiful nature that makes up this world. The more competitive I got, the more I just was focusing on trophies and on points. I realized what was most important to me was to help take care of the ocean that had taken care of me my whole life. In order to free dive, in order to make it to these depths and to hold my breath while doing it, I really have to go within and just push past these perceived boundaries that tell me, no, don't go there. No, you can't. No, it's dangerous. No, you're scared. At first, it feels very uncomfortable and I feel completely vulnerable. And then I develop a comfort there and I feel good. I try and apply it to my life on land where if I'm in a situation you know, where I want to try something but I have to leave my comfort zone to do it, I also just take it in and I just tell myself, okay, well, I know what this is like, so I need to give myself the encouragement, the self-love, you know, and the motivation to simply try. Every single time I do that, that's when I grow. Today, the majority of what I eat, it comes from hunting, foraging, from my own garden or from trading with people who have their own gardens or their own resources. And I've seen the magic that lights up in a child's face when they see firsthand where their food comes from. Whether it's watching me clean a fish or whether it's picking something from the garden, it's magical because that's where we all come from. We're all a part of nature. And to deny ourselves that knowledge just because we don't have to know it, we're denying our lives meaning. And that's why I think we try and fill up that void with things like money, with new cars. And I don't think that ever takes the emptiness away because the fact of the matter is, we're a part of nature. And so by honoring that, we're honoring ourselves.